Now we are going to find the 7 and equivalent to this circuit at port PQ, but not in the lab by doing that manually. We proceed with the classic set of tests, open circuit test and short circuit test. First, we find what is the open circuit voltage at the port VOC, open circuit. To do that, we solve the circuit. Using MNA, we see only two nodes, one on the bottom here, one on the top. What about this one? Node P is an interesting node, but it's a binary node to solve the circuit. We're not going to use it, even though the voltage we need, we will see actually is a voltage between P and Q. We will need voltage of P eventually. But for now, I'll choose this as our reference node and this as our node number one. The directions for the currents are chosen arbitrarily. Observe that this is a single branch because P is a binary node. Only one equation necessary to solve this circuit is a case Hill equation at node number one. Currents going in seven. Currents coming out of that V1 over 2 plus the current in this RV branch V1 minus 9 divided by 3 plus 3, 6 ohms. That is the equation. I enter that equation 7 equals V1 divided by 2 plus V1 minus 9 divided by 6. And that is the equation we need to solve. And we solve it. Solve that equation. And the answer is 12.75 volts. This voltage is 12.75 volts but that is not the voltage we need that is this voltage right this voltage 1275 the voltage we need is between nodes p and q hmm that voltage is the voltage in this source 9 volts plus the voltage in this 3 ohm resistor how do we find the voltage in a resistor we use ohm's law v equals r i we need the current i in this resistor but that current is the current in this branch which is v1 1275 volts minus 9 divided by 6 that is the current we multiply that current times 3 we have the voltage in this resistor and the polarity is of course the current is flowing like so the polarity of the voltage in that resistor is like so so the voltage of p with respect to q is 9 volts plus this drop in this resistor. So we say the open circuit voltage is 9 volts plus 3 ohms that multiplies this current. And that current is V1 minus 0 minus 9 divided by 6. V1 is 1275 minus 9 divided by 6. That is the current. That has to be the voltage VOC. Let's compute that. 9, enter, 3, enter, 12, 75, enter, 9, enter. Subtract, 6, divide, multiply, sum. That voltage is 1088 volts. This voltage is 1088 volts, the open circuit voltage. Now we go to the short circuit test. At the port where we're finding the 7 and equivalent, we connect a short circuiting wire, like so, and we are to determine the current in that wire. That is the test. That is a short circuit test. To solve the circuit, I identify how many nodes I see there. Observe, 
here is one node. Here is one node at the bottom. But that node spills up because of the short circuit all around that wire all the way to the top. That's going to be our reference node. And apart from that, we have node number one. We solve that circuit. Current 7 amps. Arbitrarily chosen current, a current here, and uh, why not a current here like so? KCL for node number one is this one. It's seven amps current going in, seven amps equals to V1 minus the voltage of the reference zero over two plus V1 minus the voltage of the reference. Because this node is a reference. The zero volts divided by this 3 ohm resistor. And that is the equation we need to solve. This is the equation we need to solve. And we solve it. The solution is 8.4 volts. So this voltage is 8.4 volts. The voltage here with respect to the reference this one or that one hmm but in reality the current we need is this one how are we gonna find it well we know this current this current here we can compute it is v1 which is known now 8.4 volts minus zero divided three we know that current what about this one this current is the current in an rv branch this current here, I'm going to call that X, that current X, is voltage of the origin, zero, minus voltage of the destination, which is also the reference node, zero, plus nine volts, divided by three ohms. That is three amps. So you see we have three amps going this way. What about this current Let's call that Y. Well, current Y is just this current. V1 minus 0 over 3. 8.4 over 3. 2.8 amps. If we apply a KCL equation at the Gauss surface surrounding this part of the circuit, we can find I short circuit. X plus Y is I short circuit. I short circuit is 3 amps plus 2.8 in this case is 5.8 amps. We are now ready to find the 7 and equivalent. 5.8 amps the short circuit current and 1088 volts the open circuit voltage so v7 then is directly the open circuit voltage 1088 and r7 then is the open circuit voltage 1088 divided by the short circuit current 5.8 amps That is 1.88 ohms. The exercise is not complete until we draw the equivalent circuit, and that is what I'm going to do right now. V7 and R7. And this is the equivalent circuit to this one. But equivalent only when we look into the circuit from this board. Whatever we connect outside of this circuit can be connected to this one and that outsider will not be any wiser. Thank you very much.